I feel like oftentimes we can get so caught up in our own aspirations in life and our own desires of what we would consider a successful life that we fail to see the beauty of what life could be and what life can be if we just let go of our expectations on what we think we should be or what we think we could be or who we think we should be or who other people think we should be. And these expectations for ourselves can often put us in like a box where we think the only way to attain the things that we want is by doing it this, that, and the other way. And it closes us off to the opportunities that life could present if you just took that box off of yourself and your life. Because oftentimes the things that we want now or we want later or we, you know, aspire to or consciously or subconsciously desire to have often come about in ways that we couldn't predict. But because we have these expectations of who we are, who we should be, we don't allow ourselves to reach our fullest potential. And sometimes your fullest potential is not something that you ever really would have thought, you know? Sometimes the success that you desire is not even a success that you're thinking of right now. When if you just open yourself up to the possibilities of what could be and what might be, then you're gonna see success in ways that you never imagined. And maybe in some ways that you do imagine. Let me try to give you an example here. I am, you know, a musician of some degree and I've seen some degree of, you know, menial success. I don't know if that's the right word, but I've seen some, you know, degree of success. The times where I've seen the most success were the times where I was basically on the verge of quitting. You can't really put your expectations on, you know, what success is gonna look like for you and how long success is gonna last and you know how much money you're gonna make it's not the point of this video is that if you're not framing it right in your mind and if you're if you're putting all these expectations on what you think success should be and what you think success should look like no matter what you're gonna be disappointed every single time. As long as you just allow life to, to kind of flow as it will and bring these opportunities to you and follow those opportunities and not follow opportunities that life is not providing to you, then you're gonna find success, you know, one way or the other. If there's no expectations and you're allowing yourself to be successful in ways that you didn't expect, you're gonna have a, a more positive outlook on what success looks like for you. Sometimes you're creating obstacles for yourself that just don't need to be there, you know? Like there's such a, a beautiful life to be lived if you just take the opportunities that life is presenting you in the moment and don't take the opportunities that life isn't presenting you in the moment. And this is not to say don't try things, because if you're inspired to try something, then continue to try it. But don't, don't beat yourself up if you're not in a place where you're like, I really wanna try this, you know what I mean? I think we all know when we get to a place where in our minds we're like, you know what, I feel like I'm just grinding my gears here and this is just not working. And once you get to that place, it's important to tell yourself, look, life is giving me this other opportunity and I'm trying really hard to pour myself into this opportunity that I've told myself from the very, very you know, existence of my being is what I'm supposed to be doing. You're shooting yourself in the foot there. Allow life to be beautiful for yourself by taking the opportunities presented to you and not taking the opportunities that life is clearly telling you not for you. Doesn't mean it's not for you, you know, a year from now, doesn't mean it's not for you 10 years from now. We got a long life to live, you know, it's short, but it's also long in a lot of ways too. So, you know, you don't have to worry about not being able to 
to chase a certain thing. Chase the opportunities that life presents you and life will be beautiful, you know? We gotta have enough humility to tell ourselves that there's other fish to fry. And on that note, we'll end the video because how, how poetic was that? There's other fish to fry.